Hey everyone, another video tonight, I know it's late, I hope you all had a wonderful and pleasant 4th of July. Tonight's episode, episode 1, teaching your dog how to sit. Okay, teaching your dog how to sit. First thing you need is a motivated dog like her. A dog that has your undivided attention. You must have a handful of treats. And be patient. And be consistent. So, to teach your dog how to sit. Stand, precious thing. You want to put the treat in your hand. Uh, uh, uh. You want to put the, you want to put the treat in your hand. And you want to put it just above the uh, dog's head. And muzzle. So I would say sit. Okay. And then I reward. My click word is okay. Some people use the actual clicker. Some other people say okay, yes, good. Either one you want to use. Most of the time I use yes because she's consistent with yes. Yes, yes, yes. You know, you want to keep the same tone of voice when you, uh, adding on the word to the command, but before you add on a command to any dog, you wanna make sure that they understand the behavior and that's through lowering and shaping. So, let's do it once again. Come here. here. You wanna hold, the, you wanna hold the, foot, the foot above the dog's head, stay. And you wanna go back just above, just above her nose bridge right here. And you say, precious, sit, boom, yes, okay. Now, the sit command is a very good, uh, simple command, an easy command to use, you know, uh, to build up duration. You, you, you can tell them, stay, like her, she already knows to stay. So she'll just stay there until I release her. And I will say, Yes, and give her a reward. Now, when you first start off, you don't you don't want to take your time uh, rewarding your dog because uh, you want to make sure that the dog has that mental connection between the behavior that she performed and the treat. So you don't want to say yes and reward her at the same time. Yes, and reward her. you always want to say yes. That's the clicker word, and then you reward, right? Immediately follow after. So the dog understands that, uh, the command that you want her to do. But before you add on the word command, you want to make sure she knows the behavior. So, and it goes like this. Over her head. Yes. And then reward. And see, because where the nose follow, the body will too, meaning... If you if her if her if her head goes back like this, see, her butt's gonna drop. And the minute her butt hit, that's when you reward the dog. Then over time through repetitions, you can start weaning off of treats, you know. And you might you might start off consistently. Yes, boom, reward. Yes, boom, reward. Yes, reward. Then you might say yes. Reward. And on, 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 and on different days, you just don't give her no treats, you know? Once you get to the point where you don't give her no treats, then you just don't, you can give it to her like every once in a while or every so often. And eventually she'll just be doing on command. She's not gonna be uh, looking for treats all the time. She'll just automatically know the uh, sit command. So that's what I just wanted to show y'all, a quick video on how to teach your dog to sit and see. Always remember that you must, in the beginning, reward and praise your dog. First, you give the command. Then you give your clicker, which is my clicker. You use any clicker word. You can use the actual clicker, or you can say yes or okay. You know, and my bridge word will be good when I'm building up duration with her to sit. So I would say precious thing. Okay. Sit. Good. Good girl. Good. Yeah, good. 
Yes. And then that reward. Because she already knows the sit command. You know? So, pressure. Sit. Yes. And then reward. That's how you do it. It's just that simple. It's, it's, a, it's an easy command, but it's very powerful. You know, because it, it can stop the dog from getting into trouble. And you can also save the dog's life. You know? I can't stress more uh, the importance of uh, obedience training for your dog, you know. I love dogs. I love dogs with a passion. I love pits in particular. I've had pits all through my life. I love all dogs once again, but pits mainly in particular because there's so many different uh, stigmas when it comes to these, when, uh, when it, excuse me, when it comes to this breed, you know, so. My goal is to uh, keep dogs out of shelters and, and, and how to get owners um, the proper knowledge and understanding so they can communicate with their dog. You know, it's, it's just as simple as that, man. The less dogs we have in shelters and the less uh, responsible owners can learn about dogs, the better it will be, you know? It's, it's a shame how many dogs get put to sleep. Uh, some because people are just giving up on dogs. You know, a lot of people give up on dogs. They, they, they don't have the time and patience. I would don't recommend anyone to get a dog if you don't have the patience or time because I base uh, a dog's relationship off of, off a of human relationship. You, you need time. You need love. You need affection. It's the same thing with the woman. She needs time. She needs love. She needs the yes, the, the motivation. She needs consistency. Dogs also need consistency. So it, it's the same thing, you know? And, and, and you have a wonderful, amazing dog, man. A, a lovable, amazing dog. And, and it will show. Other people will see it. All the time and effort that you put into your dog, it'll show. You know, because people be like, wow, you know? So it, it's a beautiful thing, man. You know, I, I just want to keep them getting euthanized and keep them out of shelters and keep them with in, in loving and happy homes, man, and, and, and teach owners, you know, how to uh, communicate with their dogs because a lot of people think that dogs are uh, just supposed to know, know everything. They're supposed to be wrapped up in the box. What people got to understand is if you're not putting the time in with your dog it's and the dog is is displaying the wrong behaviors it's be, it's not the dog's fault it's your fault because you haven't taught the dog anything you know just like a child you, you want when you send your child out you want them to, to be respectful you want them to go to school you want them to do this you want to be polite it's the same thing with the dog so if you're not teaching your dog anything how the dog is going to know anything you know the dogs only go off their natural instincts that they were born with until you you can teach them otherwise you know